every year back to school season comes around and every year I am tempted to buy lots of stationary school supply goodies. So today I'm going to be sharing my ultimate favorite stationary supplies for school, whether you're in university, college, high school, I've got you covered. We're going to be talking about pens and notebooks today. It's going to be a great time. So get comfortable and let's get into it. As a side note, I will be having links for all of the products I can find links for in the description box below to make it super easy for you to uh, keep track of any products that you want to buy yourselves or look more into. The first category I'm going to go into is pouches. Now pouches are wonderful because they end up being the home to your writing utensils and school supplies. So I like to make sure I get ones that are both functional and just really adorable and amazing and like all of the great things. One of my favorite pouches at the moment comes from the brand Herschel. This is their settlement case design. I have it myself in blush pink and this one is in a beautiful black grid pattern. It's just so stunning. It's got this great handle here, a really great quality zipper, a fun liner. There's plenty of space in it, so you can end up using it for holding pencils and pens or even acting as an emergency kit, which is how I used it in my What's in My Backpack video. So adorable. Speaking of my What's in My Backpack video, another set of pouches that I showed in that video that I think are worth repeating again are these ones from Paper Chase. They are Ziploc wallets with these really cute patterns on them. You can use them for storing supplies like post-its or for storing things like hair ties really anything and they look just incredible within your backpack and keeps everything nice and tidy. Another pouch I want to talk about from Paper Chase is one that's very simple but so amazing and it's this clear one with a black zipper. This is a new one but this is the one that I had in my backpack for the last little bit. It holds my calculator and my eye clicker. It's great because you can see everything inside so you can find whatever you need really quickly. The next category I'm going to cover is one of my favorites which is writing utensils. I've got a lot of things to show, so prepare yourselves. I don't think anyone's going to be surprised to hear that Muji 0.38 gel black pens are at the top of my you must have this stationary list. These by far are the pen I always gravitate towards whenever I'm filling in my bullet journal or I'm note taking when I, or when I was note taking in school. They write nice and smooth and the 0.38 small size keeps things looking really neat. More accessible black pen option that I feel like you can get at any local Staples or Walmart are the Bic Atlantis pens. I've used these a lot in the past and I also like the fact that they're a clicky clacky pen so you don't have to deal with a separate cap which you do have to deal with the Muji pens I don't mind it but this is very convenient another black pen I really love using especially in my bullet journal are these ones by Sharpie it delivers a really beautiful black and I don't feel like I run into many issues with smearing either so just a solid addition to your collection I've used many pencils over the years and I don't find from pencil brand to pencil brand there being a huge difference in the writing experience for me personally. But when I first wrote with a black wing pearl pencil, I immediately was like, wow, this is what a beautiful pencil feels like when you're writing with it. And that's what this is, just a fantastic pencil, has this really cool eraser tip as well. So it also is kind of like an aesthetically pleasing version of a wooden pencil. They are definitely more on the pricey side. So if you ever have an opportunity to just buy a singular one, like some of the stationery stores here in Toronto allow you to do, then I feel like this is a really cool thing to have on hand and to try out. And then for a mechanical pencil option, there's these ones from Zebra. They are stainless steel mechanical pencils in the size 0.5 millimeters. I've never tried these personally, but they come so highly reviewed and I just feel like it looks like a really um, mature mechanical pencil. When you just look at them, they kind of look like pens. So there's, there's some sophistication happening here. Another Zebra product that you absolutely need in your pencil case if you don't already have them are the Zebra Mild Liners. They are a highlighter on one end and a marker on the other. So I love the functionality of a product that can do two things in one. And the colors on these are so incredible. This is probably my favorite mini -er set. They also have a bigger set that has, I think it's 15 of the, of the colors. I use them in my bullet journal, in notes, in books, when I'm highlighting actual books, whether it be textbooks or even nonfiction books, because I do do that. I'm not sure if that's evil of me, but I do highlight my nonfiction books. And these are just a staple. I don't know what more I can say. 
And technically I bought these at Staples. There's a staple bought at Staple. I need to stop talking. Okay, putting them down. <laughs> We're gonna focus a little bit on some Crayola products. The first one being the Crayola Super Tip Markers. This is probably one of the best value products that I've ever come across um, because the color pigment that these give off are so great. You can use them in your bullet journal to add colors to your spreads. Also, obviously, in your notes if you want to add colors, but they are pretty inexpensive. You can find them on Amazon for a really great price. Walmart and Staples usually have them on for great deals, especially during this time of the year. Crayola also recently sent me a ton of items from their Take Note collection. Two products I thought were worth featuring are these washable gel pens. They're meant to be able to wash from your hands and your clothes really easily, but they come in a lot of beautiful colors, uh, including a black, which is always a nice staple to have and they also claim to be quick drying as well which I always find is a must when it comes to pens because you don't want any smudging happening smudging is not a good look and then another item that I thought was really cool are their new permanent markers they come again in just like a lot of beautiful colors and what I really love off the bat from looking at the back and stuff of these is that they have a comfort grip on them so a little bit nicer for writing experience than just writing on plastic. You get a little cushion action. The fact that you can use them to write on plastic, wood, metal, fabric, canvas um, means that you can also customize your back to school supplies. So that's kind of fun. I couldn't do a back to school supplies video without talking about Tombow dual brush pens. The colors that I use the most are 553 and 772. I'm pretty sure they make an appearance in nearly every plan with me. Every time I try a different color, I then think about the fact that I'm not using these colors and it makes me sad and then I end up using these colors. They got the brush tip on this side if you want to try brush lettering, but they also have the fine marker tip if you want to write with them or draw lines. Again, products that do two things make me super happy. Another Tombow product that I've been obsessed with for years is this calligraphy pen. You can do brush lettering with it, it's a beautiful black and I love using this for creating headings in my planner. Another writing utensil that I need to feature that none of you who have been on this channel for any length of time should be surprised to see are white jelly roll pens. 2019 has been the year of the white jelly roll pen for me. I really like the size 08 the best. They work really nicely on the washi tape, the black washi tape that I love. Using this on darker paper or on top of a darker marker, it just, gives your notes a different kind of look. They are just the best. Oh, I love you. I always get tons of questions about what black washi tape I use with my white jelly roll pens, and it is this one right here by Scotch Expressions. It's never given me any issues. I'm pretty sure I've gone through at least four or five of these rolls. Definitely my favorite washi tape ever. I'm not sure a stationary haul can ever happen without the discussion of post-its. And one of my new favorite post-its have been the white post-it notes. I know this seems kind of boring, but to me what has been a beautiful gift about a white post-it note is that I can use all of my markers and pens, no matter what color they are, to create some really cool looks on my post-it notes. I also just think like it fits with my decor really well, which is so important when picking out a post-it note. I also really like the black version because I had bought them at the same time. I just think for student life, these are a lot more practical because you don't need the white jelly roll pen to write on them with. You can use, like I said, anything that you have. For a more colorful post-it, I also like these ones from the Rio de Janeiro collection. And then of course, I also gotta always have some post-it flags. These are really great for keeping track of where you are in a textbook for keeping track of pages that you need to review. You can make it so that each color means something different. Post-it products in general are just always fantastic. I never feel like I have to worry about them not sticking where I've stuck them. Another thing that I really embraced over the past year especially is a circle template. I love circle templates. Uh, you can use them to create circles obviously, but also as just like a regular ruler because the sides are, are straight. And you can use these to create really fun headers or designs in your journal or in your notes. I know one year I did a timetable spread 
in my bullet journal where I, I showed my timetable each for each day of the week by creating a clock and sectioning out the clock each day for whatever class I had or tutorials I had to go to. Index cards are always a great thing to have on hand. I really embraced these uh, in my last year of university as a study tool for keywords because I was taking classes, um, one class in particular, my mythology class, Oh my goodness, so many names and people to keep track of and different authors to keep track of that these were like a lifesaver. And often I wouldn't need a full index card. So what I would do is I would cut my index cards in like thirds and then I would have little tiny mini index cards. So that's just a little tip if you feel like, oh, I don't need like all this space, but you want something to kind of test your memory, that can be an option for you. And whenever I get index cards, I always also like to have a home for them. So I feel like having an index card case is uh, really handy because you can store them in here, they won't get damaged. Or if you create study cards for a test at the beginning of the semester, then you can keep them somewhere where you know they're not going to get damaged or you won't accidentally throw them out because then you can use them for the final. This index case in particular has little like file folders so you can even keep them organized. It's a beautiful thing. A small flash drive that you can keep in your backpack or your pencil case is also super handy. Whiteout is also always a must. I really like these from Bic. Paper clips and binder clips are one of those basic products I don't think we often think too much about, but come on, these ones from Paper Chase are adorable. The coloring on them is just, I, I couldn't, I couldn't not you know like i saw and i was like okay i take what is happening right now weirdness aside if you're gonna get excited about paper clips and binder clips i feel like these are the ones you get excited about or maybe i just get excited about last category i'm going to talk about today is paper products and accessories the first item i have to mention in this category is a dotted journal this one is from Leuchtturm 1917 in the color nordic blue it's stunning i love using dotted journals as bullet journals to be my planner but even if you don't like like bullet journaling, having some sort of beautiful journal on hand can be great because you can use it as a space where you can write down your thoughts, get everything in your brain out onto paper, release it. The bullet journal I'm currently using right now is the Peter Popper Press Journal. It is dotted and I really love it. It's a really great option if you want something a little bit more budget friendly. So it will be linked down below as well. My favorite notebook to use for physical note taking definitely is the Claire Fontaine notebooks with the grid paper inside. I wish you could feel it with me, but the paper in these notebooks are so smooth. They come in a variety of colors too. I really like this orange yellowy situation that's happening here. It makes me feel happy, even though sometimes when you are taking notes, you are very much so not happy. If you're someone who's really into tech, but loves paper, then you might love the White Lines notebook. So how this works is you write in it regularly as if you're just writing on typical paper, but then you can use the app to digitally scan in your notes. It's really cool. And I love the fact that just the paper itself is is white lined. So if you are someone who doesn't like typically grid paper because it's there's a lot going on on the page, this one isn't as distracting because the lines are white. Your writing really pops out, but everything stays nice and organized. Every year, I typically also invest in a binder. This is a really beautiful looking one from Avery. It is a one inch binder. It holds 175 pieces of paper and also has this beautiful pop of color inside. You can obviously use this for notes, but I really like making one binder at the beginning of the semester or year to store all of my syllabi, any tests or important documents that are given to me throughout the year. It just all goes in one place. And to make sure everything is properly categorized and has a place, I also like to insert little file tabs um, within my binders so that each class has its own tab. Sheet protectors are also great for making sure that really important documents stay well protected, hence the reason they're called sheet protectors. Sheet protectors I also find really handy for storing my completed assignments when I'm transporting them from my apartment to my class where I'm gonna hand them in. I get really paranoid that I'm gonna bend like an essay and then I'll get deducted marks because of a bend, um, which I'm not sure if that's just something like that is me being crazy or not, but I do it and none of my assignments have ever been handed in bent. 
so there you go. Binder pockets are also really cool too because they actually are closed off. So again, if you have any important documents that you wanna make sure are secure in there, this pouch is really effective for that. The last item I have to share is a stack of paper. This is 100 sheets of graph paper. Graph paper has definitely as you can probably tell based on the notebooks I chose, become just my paper of choice when I'm taking notes for school. I like the fact that I can make vertical or horizontal uh, lines or dividers, sections in my notes without needing a ruler because you've got the grid lines to help guide you. So it's definitely replaced lined, traditional lined paper for me. If you reach the end of this video, you may be wondering, Caitlin, you're not going back to school. Why did you buy all of these things for back to school? Good question. See, I really wanted to participate in the act of back to school shopping, but I obviously didn't have any school to go back to. So I decided I would do the back to school shopping and give away everything that I bought to one of you. This giveaway will be happening on Instagram. The details on how to enter are down in the description box below, but yes, you will have to enter an Instagram and the giveaway won't be lasting for very long. So make sure you go get your entries in. I wanna set one of you guys up with lots of great goodies as just a small way of saying thank you to all of you for all of the support you've shown uh, me and the channel over the years, but also over the last few months especially, I've just been feeling so much love headed or directed my way. I feel so lucky to have this little corner of the internet, this little community, and I feel more excited than ever to continue creating content that is uh, hopefully enjoyable to watch, but also worthy of your precious time. If you happen to miss the chance to enter the giveaway, don't worry, I do wanna do more of these on the channel. So it's really important that you not only hit the subscribe button, uh, but also the notification bell so that you can watch videos uh, soon after they go live and then you'll, you will be the first to know about any other giveaways that I do in the future. Also let me know in the comment section down below, what is one item in today's video that had you drooling or had the hard eyes going. I had so much fun with this one. I always love talking about pens and notebooks and all that stuff. I will see you all very soon with a new video and until then, bye everyone.